Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this lecture, we will get started with the basics of a shell scripting. So in the previous lectures, we have seen all about Unix and Linux, where we have seen about file management, directories, the permissions and how we can allow the permissions or remove them, the Unix environment. Also we have seen basic utilities and in the previous lecture, we have seen all about the VI editor and how we can use it effectively to create a file. So from now on we will start our journey into the shell scripting. And in this lecture we will be discussing some basic concepts of shell scripting. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the shell scripting is nothing but a computer program which is designed to be executed by the Unix or a Linux shell which can be of the following type such as bone shell, C shell, corn shell and the born again shell. So these are all the types of shells. So the shell is nothing but a command line interpreter and some typical operations will be performed by the shell script including the file manipulation as well as program executions and the printing text. So you might ask what really is a shell? So shell provides us an interface to the Unix system. So it gathers the input from us and execute the program which based on the input that we have provided. So whenever a program finishing its execution, it will displace the program output. So shell is nothing but an environment in which we can run different commands, programs and the shell scripts. So there are different flavors of shell, just like the different flavors of operating systems. So each of them has its own set of recognized commands and functions. So those different flavors we have already discussed in the previous topic. Our next topic is shell prompt. So the prompt which is displayed by the dollar symbol is called as a command prompt which is issued by the shell. So while the prompt is displayed, we can type any command and execute them. So shell will read our input after we press enter. So it determines the command we want to execute by looking at the first word of the input. So word is nothing but an unbroken set of character. But you have to remember that the spaces and tabs will be treated as a separate words. Let me show you with some simple example. So as you can see, this is our command prompt, which is displayed by the dollar symbol, as you can see here. So we can type any command that we want. So let me execute you one simple command which we have already discussed which is date. So after hitting enter, the command will get execute and this date command will give us the current date and the timestamp as given in this format. So, so far we have discussed what is a shell and what is a shell prompt and how we can execute the command. But now we will discuss about the shell scripts. So the basic concept of a shell script is that it is just a list of command which are listed in order of execution. So it is nothing but the list of command that we will give as per our order. So in this shell script, there may be a single command or some conditional tests, also loops which allows us to go through the massive amounts of data as well as the files to read and store the data and also the variables. And also the script may include various functions that we have already familiar with. And now, so we will start typing our first script and we will execute. Let me show you how we can do that. So now we will get started with our first script. So let's assume we will create one script named shell1.sh. So you have to remember that all the scripts would have a .sh extension. So now before we add any command, we need to alert the system that a shell script is being started. So we will do that by giving the shebang construct. Here given is the shebang construct that we have to denote to intimate the system that a shell script is being executed. So after giving the shebang construct, we will give our commands. But first, let me tell you about the shell comments. So we can put comments in the script by using the hashtag symbol as given here. So in this script, first we have given the shebang construct and after that we have given two comments. So a good shell script will have comments which is preceded by this hashtag symbol which describes all the steps which are present in your shell script. So here we have given two commands in our shell script 
and also we have commented the description of this command so first one is a pwd which gives us the present working directory and the ls command which list out the items in our present working directory so let me show you how to create a shell script so as you can see this is our shell prompt and now we will be creating our shell script by using the vi editor let me show you how so first we have to give vi and the file name which has the .sh extension so we will start like script1.sh so as you can see we have created one file which named script.sh using the vi editor and now the first step will be to press the i key to get into the insert mode so we have pressed i and now we will start typing our first shell script but first we have to give the shebang construct to alert the system that the shell script is being executed so for that just give like hashtag exclamation and after that we will be giving the comments so the first comment will be this command will give present working directory and we will give the command which is pwd on and on the next line will give the comment which describes this command will list out the items and the command will be ls so as you can see we have successfully typed our first shell script so to get out of the vi editor as you already know to save the changes just go into the command mode by pressing escape twice give the colon w and q as you can see we have successfully created our shell script which is being saved so this is how you create a shell script by using the vi editor but one thing you have to remember that this shell script should have an extension .sh and now after creating our shell script we will execute it but before executing it we have to save the content that we have already did and we have to make the script executable so to make the script executable we usually use the chmod command which is given here so we just have to do chmod and we have to add the permissions so we will use the plus sign and x which denotes the executable permission and we will give our file name which is script1.sh let me show you how to make our script executable so to do that we just have to use chmod and we will add the permissions so just give plus x which denotes the executable permission and after that just give the file name which is script1.sh so as you can see we have successfully given the executable permission to our file so that we can execute it without any error so after this step our shell script is ready to be executed so to execute the shell script we have to type dot slash and give the file name after it which is mentioned here and in this case our file name will be script1.sh so for executing our file we just have to give dot slash and the file name which is script1.sh after hitting enter as you can see our shell script is being executed so the first command we have passed was the pwd which gives us the present working directory which is displayed here and the second one was the listing out the items which is ls command that we have given and the result is here so as you can see both the commands are executed in the order of their executions this was all about how to create a shell script and how to execute it and our last topic for today's lecture is extended shell script so the shell script has several required construct that will tell the shell environment what we have to do and when to be executed so of course most scripts are very complex than the scripts that we have just executed so the shell is after all a real programming language which complete with variables different control structures and so on so no matter how complicated our shell script will be but you have to remember that it is still just a list of command which are executed according to their order that we have given so here you can see this following shell script which uses the read command which takes the input from the keyboard and assign it as a value to the variable so here we have given the variable name 
and finally it is printing out the output by using this dollar symbol so this dollar symbol you have to give to call out our variable which we have defined or got as a input from the user so the script will be your exercise so that you can practice and learn the shell scripting more easily so in this lecture we have seen what is a shell scripting different types of shells what is the meaning of a shell what is a shell prompt and how it works as well as we have discussed about different shell types and we have typed and executed our first shell script so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to join us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching